Today's lesson brings Larry to a small reservoir near the town of Stuttgart in eastern Arkansas. Summertime bass can sometimes be difficult under rapidly changing weather conditions. Let's join Larry for today's lesson, Changing Conditions. He just come out of nowhere and grabbed that thing. That's the way I like it. Thank you, I needed that. Pretty good bass right there. Next time I want my face washed, I'll do it in the bathroom. Now, that fish wasn't very close to the bank. He was out away from it. About halfway back to the boat. Sometimes you gotta run it up to the stick and just let it flutter down beside it. I guess there just wasn't nobody at home. Be sure and make two or three casts at a good looking object like that. These fish seem real active this morning, so a lot of times there's, when, I, when I'm fishing like this and the fish are real active, I'm gonna just keep moving, covering ground. And then when I find a good area, later I'll come back through it and fish it again, maybe with a different lure or a different presentation but when they're active and biting early in the morning the whole key is just covering ground keep that boat going and catch the ones that's wanting to bite when fishing early in the morning and the fish are active covering water is the rule if you do find a good area then come back later and fish that area with a different bait or presentation but while they are active cover water Well, he keeps fighting like he ain't got me in nothing. <laughs> I thought he had me around the limb, but I ain't too sure it ain't a pretty good bass. Whoa, I know it's a good bass, a good fish. Oh, God, he had me in something. Man, that's, <laughs> that's a nice one there. He liked to whoop me. Pretty bass, thank you. Doggone, don't be so hard on my arm next time. I mean, he was hungry. That's too much work for a cripple fella. That's why I love to get out early in the morning, because usually early in the morning, water temperature's a little bit cooler in the summertime, and your fish are more active, never fails. Really, the only two times a day to get any real aggressive shallow water action, unless you get thunderstorms or wind, is, is early and late. And at night, you know, if you live around a clear water lake, boy, get out there at nighttime, that's when they really bite. In summer, usually the only periods of fish activity in shallow water are early in the morning and late in the evening. However, don't overlook the cooler temperatures of fishing at night. Sometimes, this can definitely be the most productive. Oh, wait a minute. Good fish. Come out of that water there, big boy. <laughs> oh, people don't know what they miss when they stay in bed. Come on, don't you do well, are you not through? Yeah, they sleep in and they go fishing. They understand, or they don't understand why they're not catching any fish. Got to get up and get out early. I mean, they're just annihilating that thing. They are crushing that spinnerbait this morning. That new pro model bait is beautiful. Them shiny blades. And I want you to know, 
that we've got a hook and a spinner bait now that won't quit. I want you to look at that thing. And it is sharp as a needle. When they bite it, all you gotta do is pull and you got them. If, if a person were to go back and look at the records of, of tournament competition over the last 20 years, you'd see that a spinner bait is probably been the most dominant lure in all them years if you just looked at every tournament as a whole. There's something about a spinnerbait that fish like, and for the life of me, I don't have a clue why. It don't look like anything that swims in the water, but it's easy to fish. Beginning fishermen, you know, in small bodies of water, you're gonna catch more fish on a spinnerbait day in and day out than anything else you can tie on. Oh, I mean, he come out of nowhere and grabbed it. Careful now, I just barely got you. Gonna have a quick release. Now that one there, I just barely got right in the corner. But I think it's my fault. When you're watching that bait and you see the water boil like that, boy, it is easy to jerk too fast. I mean, you really gotta, I mean, I'm actually, when one strikes that bait, I'm actually just pausing just a second to really let him get a hold of it. Because if you don't, you can jerk it away from him. That's one thing I really remember about growing up as a kid. One of the biggest strikes I ever had, and I blew, was on a big Lucky 13, that great old big one. I was a chugging it along, and I mean this monstrous wake. It just come out of a tree and just was just fixing to eat my lucky 13. And what did I do? I jerked it before he even struck it. I still don't know how big that bass was, but to me, it was a 20-pounder. Whoa! Look at that jump. Boy, that was a good one. Come on. One more time for him. Wow! <laughs> Boy, I tell you, you can't just don't get no better than that right there now. Oh, yes, it did, too. <laughs> Boy, is he ever full of fight. And I mean, he engulfed it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, he just eat that thing. That's a good one. That's the kind I like to have when I go to weigh in. Sure mess my spinner bait up. But that's easy to fix. That was that. <laughs> if that don't get you excited, nothing will. There's nothing like a bass coming up and eating that lure right on the surface and jumping sky high about three times for you. This Nixon note is brought to you by Bass Pro. The Bass Pro Shop Spring Sale Catalog. Call 1-800-BPS-FISH now for your free copy. Every little thing that happens in bass fishing tells me something. That's why it's so important to be observant, look in the water, and try to see what the fish are doing. That's why I wear these yellow lens Pro Model sunglasses. Hey, I can see when a fish comes up to take a plug and turn away, and then I can change my style of fishing in order to make that fish bite. These type lenses will help you find bass, and not only that, but see areas under the water that other fishermen will miss. Best of Larry Nixon, your guide to tips on better bass fishing with one of BAS's leading money winners, Larry Nixon.